gentlemen, Tony Sinclair is coming to the ring today because as I'm sure many of you will remember who were here last time, that Johnny Kincaid jumped into the ring during Tony Sinclair's bout and challenged him and said that he wouldn't meet him. Well, Tony Sinclair just informed me that today he signed a contract whereby he will be meeting Johnny Kincaid. Ladies and gentlemen, and it's not just for the people in this hall, but he has done it because the challenge was thrown out on television and the contest will be seen on television. I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen, we all like to wish Tony Sinclair all the very... Ladies and gentlemen, this is a middleweight contest consisting of six five-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between on my left and in the red corner from Hull, ladies and gentlemen, a big welcome please for Jeff Kay. His opponent on my right and in the blue corner, the European middleweight champion from New Cross, Mick McManus. So thank you, Mike Judd. And here is the main bout of the afternoon, Mick McManus on the left there in the darker trunks versus Jeff Kay of Hull. And here we go, any second with round one. Second away, round one. A six five minute round contest, two falls to the side. So the best of three fouls from McManus, really going in fast there. And he's got troubles against Kay. Kay's the most agile wrestler, not often in the south, but when we have seen him on television, he's always put up a tremendously fast all action bout. And McManus knows this, which is why he's coming in so hard at the beginning. And Max Ward having to cool him down a little bit. Yes. Trying to hold, but got out of it nicely into a backhammer. Jeff K. Pretty easily if he's just given the chances, and he's been given the chances so far. And Kay really working on that McManus left shoulder. Headlock by K. And now, whether that was clenched first or not, no, I think a bit doubtful. Max Moore very doubtful about that. Mc McMahon is certainly doubtful. Now 
It's the right hand that uh, the referee should be watching. We can just spot it over the back there. The McManus right hand on the trunks there. It's okay. Yes! Max Ward is right there, but he's right there checking the shoulder blades of Kay and not looking at exactly what's landing in the stomach of Kay. Just what going on right underneath there against the McManus throat, I don't know, but he, he's not happy about it. And he didn't like that, and he got caught for a public warning. Just pay his first public warning. I suppose he made the mistake of getting caught. McManus, big grin on his face now. He got away with about three. Rule benders there, and the play gets caught for the first one. Just half a minute now in this first round. And McManus always wishes the referee wouldn't do that, because the break of the hold is more painful than the hold. Ten seconds. No year treatment. Right on the bell. So Jeff K, who now resides in Leeds, but comes from hell at 12 stone nine. Time throw in the mid 60s, and we don't see him often down south. But when we do, we're always glad because he puts up a tremendous display of wrestling. And I don't think it's to say it's going to be any exception. Round two. Round two. Five rounds to go. No score. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to the side. And McManus coming in with the straight arm jabs. That's what he's really good at. And that saves him so many times from defeat. And this could be a similar situation starting to use them those jabs those close jabs in the second as early as the second round is pretty unusual okay he shouldn't have stopped there he should have gone on with the body check when that fall was called, which of course was not true. The shoulder blades were tight down for a good count of three at least. Anyway, here we go with round three with four to go. Second away, round three. And Jeff Kay in the lighter trunks, the taller of the two. Now leading McManus by one fall and L, and the packed crowd here at Hamel Pavilion 
are hoping for that second and winning fall from Kane. Both with one hand and the top of the trunks with the other. Just depending where the referee is. Pull on ground at hold by McNeese, but the count over the years. Very unorthodox for freestyle wrestling, but it's certainly a good escape move. Getting warned by the referee that too much of that would be another public warning. He's got one already, although he's leading by the one fall. It's Jeff Kay, very slow, deliberate follow down by McManus. He was allowed to get there. Nothing in it weight-wise, just a couple of pounds. They're both on the 12 and a half stone mark. Right, 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 and that's <laughs> the referee using the McManus years to get him off now. <laughs> McManus will not like that at all. His own tricks being worked back at him. I would really love that. Paul Nelson McManus. No one, two there, the third one on top, I call. Yeah. 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 Really quite determined look on Kay's face since the treatment. Oh. Uh, punch to the left eye, the right eye rather, and Referee completely unsighted from that one. The referee is for this Nick one. Manifest, first public warning. So one public warning each now. And two minutes to go in the third. Again starting that from Nelson Cage. Back to the ears. Okay, trying the head scissors from Tucky from the rear there, quite successfully. But uh, won't get the shoulder blades down. In fact, he's accused of going for the sleeper, but this is a McManus trick, and Kay is not going to have any of it. But I think he's going to have to. Kay says, I know McManus is laying this on. Well, we'll find out. or not. I think maybe that was a sleeper with the calf, the back of the calf of Kay's leg right across the throat. Oh, thanks to the stomach. And so Max Ward right there, happy with it. Half a minute left. Oh! Heel of the hand, okay, says the ref. Yes, that's his specialty, and that's, he's got to try that sort of thing now. He won't be able to have much more chance this round. He's only got eight seconds. Manus has always complained to the timekeeper for ringing the 
Bell just as he's getting the advantage. But of course, uh, the timekeeper is not even watching the ring at the time. He's just watching his stopwatch. So halfway through the bout, McManus still one down. Second to eight, round four. So Kay, Jeff Kay on the right there, coming out of his corner. Jeff Kay in the lighter trunks, coming out with the one fall advantage over McManus, gained in round two. One public warning each, these two men, and three rounds to go. Manus looks at the ref as if that's a dirty trick that he'd never used. Seen him do that so many times. Sammy Jeff's trying to hold ground position, but I don't think he'll be able to get the shoulder blades down from there. Watch him And the ref uh, putting himself blindside there with Manus's request. And he's going to do the same again. This time, McKay was waiting for it. Right there. He saw the hair pull. Count, of course, quite illegal. Nice cut, wheel out and back quickly with it. Judge the throw there by Kay. pull that the camera saw and the crowd this side of the ring saw but uh, of course the ref the other side okay. so a powerful head scissors grip by McManus and he's got a couple of minutes left in the fourth nicely out came to a bridge first time into the bridge and second time out very neat even McManus has to admire that one even though slightly grudged, grudgingly, but uh, oh. I, I, heel of the hand, okay, but a little bit low, I would have said. The ref was right there. But when his man's outside, yes, it demands a second public warning, and he gets it. Referee gives Mick McManus the second and final public warning. That is. Really is a devastating short range jab out of Max. And he's going to go with a folding press very fast after those weakness. But he doesn't hold him. The leg, legs came round into a, a smart body scissors. Clay's legs there. Just in time. Half a minute to go. More 
ear treatment. Every time McManus spots the ref the other side of his man, he cannot resist it, can he? On the bell. So Jeff Kay, not tremendous condition at the moment. He's taken a lot of battering. He's given a bit too, but he's taken a great deal more than he's given out. And he's still leading by one fall and L. Can he hold that fall for another couple of rounds? The crowd here would be happy if he could. Second away, round five. Round five, two to go, and still K leading McManus. K going for a furlough across the other side of the ring. On the canvas now, Jeff K from Hull, still leading one fall to nil. One public warning against him, two against McManus. And it could be a third in a minute. Yes, the ref's happy with it. McManus is the only one that isn't happy with it. Double check, body check, both Ben checked hard. Kay's got the worst of it. And left it too early. Going a little angry now, getting his second public warning. The referee warning as well. gives Jeff Kay his second and final public warning. So two public warnings each now. As Kay comes tearing through, and goes out of the ring, and it all depends what kind of a landing that is. The right shoulder seems to be the one that is in trouble. Yes, McManus has done it by a knockout. In one minute thirty seconds of round five, McManus the winner by the KO to be one fall down to K. And Mike Judd, our MC, will announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jeff Kay having scored a fall in round two and then having failed to beat the count in round five, the winner, Mick McMahon. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure everyone here will give a very big hand for Jeff Kay. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been told that that is the first of many New Year victories for Mick McMahon. <laughs>